Fisher, uh, located uh, here in America's Kansas, uh, located just north of Emporia. What do you guys farm out there? Uh, mainly corn and soybeans. Uh, with a, we, have, we do have a little bit of wheat for rotational purposes and for some cattle grazing. Okay. How long have you guys been farming? Oh, gosh. Well, my father-in-law, who I farm with, and I think they established the farm back in uh, probably 36, I think. 36 or 46 is when Bank Gundy Farm started. Gotcha. Well, cool. Well, I know you've been using Big Yield products this year. Is this your first year using products, or have you used them before? We used the sweetener last year, but this is our first year for using the other, um, you know, foliar type products. Okay. What, what are you using this year? Are you using the uh, Yield Booster, Big Sweet Yield? What are you using? Uh, we used uh, um, the, the Big Bio Yield, um, and then the uh, we used the some of the Yield Booster on our double crop. Okay, what kind of response have you seen from your crops using those products? Well, out of that big bio, uh, I think it's the big bio yield, technically what it's called, um, we had we noticed significant pod count on using that. Um, we were stressed in our area with, uh, we had a real bad drought um, this year here, and uh, the areas we sprayed that, the plants didn't stress here as bad as what they did in the past. Um, and so that, you know, we ended up getting rain late in July, uh, so we're going to have a decent crop, and it looks even better where we sprayed that big bio yield because the plants just weren't as stressed, and I think that helped. You know, we didn't lose as many plants, and we did notice a significant increase in pod count where we sprayed it versus where we didn't, and, uh, you know, a lot of people will say, well, that just varies on the field where you had the rain and where you didn't, and I agree, but we split the fields, so... We could kind of tell to the line where we had sprayed it, where we had not. Gotcha. You just use these products on soybeans, or use it on corn as well? We only use it on soybeans this year. Um, I think we're going to try it on some corn next year. Like I said, we're new to this product, so as you know, how it goes with anybody, you're not just going to throw all your eggs in one basket until you see what it's done. But um, after we've seen what the what the uh, big bio yield and the yield booster has done. Um, you know, we're, we're going to do more and more of it, I think, each year. And, you know, for that fact, the sweetener, we sprayed some of the sweetener last year and noted impacts, and I didn't spray a single batch of chemicals this year without putting the sweetener in because we had significant results from it last year and this year as well. Um, not only yield boost, but we're noticing more than anything, we're, we're getting a better um, kill with our herbicide uh, with that sweetener in. And I think that's honestly helps us more than anything is just getting a better kill. Awesome. Um, as far as mixability and handling the products, is, have you had any issues there? Has everything been great with the products? No. No, it makes it easy. Um, absolutely no issues. We've used some other products that try to claim they're the same, and uh, we've had some major issues with them mixing. So that's one reason we've stayed with uh, your guys' sweetness.